Warning Manganese heptoxide is dangerously powerful oxidizer and sensitive explosive. Do not try this. Sulfuric acid is corrosive and might be splashed everywhere including your eyes. This time I will experiment with oxidizing properties of manganese heptoxide. YouTube is full of videos of it oxidizing alcohols and other things, but I'm going to show you how it reacts with some metals, paraffin, and the most interesting one, hexamine. First I tried other methods of obtaining manganese heptoxide. I tried to simply grind up the permanganate and then add it to sulfuric acid, but the heptoxide decomposed by itself quickly. I added cacao powder to the pulp as a powdered fuel source and you can see, that some heptoxide was left in the dish, but not usefully much. So now I'm making it the old fashioned way, with rough potassium permanganate crystals. You can see the green, oily liquid floating on the top of acid and the crystals are lumped up, so I broke them down. and added more permanganate crystals. Now that I have manganese heptoxide, let's test it on paper towel. Sometimes it does not stick to the rod, so reaction delays.
Nice. Now let's move on to paraffin. I have to clean the rod so it would not add reducing stuff to dish with heptoxide. But then I got lazy, and all of heptoxide floating on the dish decomposed. Okay, let's move to more serious stuff, here is magnesium shavings. This is aluminum powder. Here comes the fun part. This time I made small amount of manganese heptoxide in a bottle cap. You can see the blobs of heptoxide rising. And here is the hexamine powder. First drops did not seem to do anything. So I tried hard to get as much heptoxide in the pipette as possible. Yeah, that was loud and destructive. It broke my clay dish and exploded my pipette. I am fine and still have all my fingers and hearing. But you don't try to... Thank you and have a good day.